Hey guys, welcome back from your spring break. I hope you had a relaxing spring break and got to have a little bit of fun. I would love to hear what you guys did. So if you want to send me an email or write me a little letter telling me what you did, I would love to read it. You can drop it off at the school, okay? So today is Thursday, April 16th, 2020. And I'm going to do our overview with you guys, and then I'm going to send you a separate video about our spelling and phonics words because I want to go over those a little bit more in detail. And then I'm going to have a separate um, math video for you guys, okay? So in religion today, you guys are going to be doing some reading. You guys are going to use your um, religion book, and you're going to read chapter 27, Jesus Comes to Us. It's pages 131 through 133. So it looks like this. This chapter is all about talking about that most important part of the Mass that we call the consecration. Remember earlier in the year we talked about that big word called transubstantiation. That's when the bread and wine become the body and blood of Jesus when he says those special words that Jesus said at the Last Supper that you guys read about. Remember, we called that transubstantiation, and it happens during the part of the Mass that we call the consecration. We see Father Peter, we used to see Father Richard do this. This is the most, very most important part of the Mass, so you're going to read about it and think about it and think about how you've seen the priest do that, and then you'll have some activities to do on it. For spelling and phonics, I'm going to send a separate video for that because I really want to think about the words this week. For reading, you guys have a folder, and it, it looks like this that I sent. It's inside your big envelope that you're getting, and it's a file folder. And inside of that file folder, you guys have three tests that you're going to be taking today and tomorrow. Okay? One of the tests you're going to be taking is your reading test, and it's your progress check test. Okay? You're going to do unit 11 progress test today. It's called Hungry Plants. This is a nonfiction, a true story. We're going to get facts from it about the Venus flytrap. They have a nice diagram here. So you're going to read all about the Venus flytrap. And then on the back, and if you want to take these apart, you can, guys, as long as you make sure you put your name on everything. And then you're going to answer these five questions. Make sure it's on Unit 11. Make sure you're going back and looking in the text for your answers. If you pick something, you need to be able to find it in the text, okay? Your parents may not help you on this. At this point, I need to be able to see that you guys are able to sound out these words, decode them, and find the answers in the text. Tomorrow, you'll work on Unit 12, okay? So today, you're just doing the Unit 11 test. Guys, please make sure that you're following this list and that you're not going ahead. Whatever the date is, that's what you guys need to be working on. Okay, it's not a rush to get your work finished. You need to take your time on it. I'm seeing a lot of mistakes that you guys that I know you know the material, but you're making some silly mistakes, okay? Let's see if I can get this to focus. Okay, for handwriting, I want you to do the next two pages in your handwriting book. Okay, work on your cursive, tracing those letters, practice connecting those letters, okay? I'm going to have a separate video about our math lesson. You're going to be doing what's called the concept check. It's not in your math book. It's a worksheet. It's a review of our two-digit subtraction with and without regrouping. Okay, so I'm going to go over that in a separate video where I'm going to do some practice problems with you guys. The most important thing with that is you're going to be sending me a picture each day of your math once it's finished so that I can check it right then and there and catch any problems that you guys might be having and either call you up or send an email for you guys to fix them, okay? Remember that um, you need to be working on reflex math. And Oh, I forgot this up here. Guys, um, after you finish your progress check test in reading, sorry about the not focusing today. After you finish that, you are going to take an AR test on any book that you've finished reading. If you've finished reading two books, I want you to take two AR tests, okay? For those of you that have not taken your AR test yet on your book study book from the last two weeks, you need to do that. 
okay? You should be reading silently too each day, all right? Just take a little break. Give your mom and dad a break. Go to your room and just read or even go outside. That's even better. Just go sit outside someplace quietly and read for 20 to 30 minutes, okay? Um, reflex math, remember, you should be going on that every day. It should be about 20 to 30 minutes on that if you, or until you get a green light, okay? For science, I'm going to send some links for you guys to go on and go on Quizlet.com and play around on that a little bit with our animal unit because tomorrow you're going to have an open book test on that. That test is in your folder. And I'll go over that tomorrow, but that's in your folder as well. It's your unit three test all about animals. So I've got some Quizlet things that I found for you guys to work on. And then in social studies, if you have not finished writing your landform paper, remember it should be front and back. Each one of these is a different fact about your landform. Name places you can find this landform. I want places in the world where you would locate it. If you're thinking about a glacier, a glacier you would definitely find up north near Alaska. Okay, make sure you're describing the landform, illustrating places where you would find it. Why is this landform important to Earth? You can Google that and think about it. I gave you guys some sites to look at. Remember this space is for your picture. This is the name of your landform. And then you turn it over and I want at least three or three to five extra facts on the back, making sure that you're doing capitals in the correct punctuation. This is a test grade. And remember your project, you should be making the landform out of something. It can be things you have around your house. Um, and then t on Saturday, we're going to share those over the computer. We're going to set up something called a Zoom where we'll be able to all see each other, hopefully, and you're going to, you're going to take turns sharing your projects, okay? You do need to get this turned in by Friday afternoon, and you need to have your parents send me a picture of your project, and I'll send an email out to them reminding you guys of that, okay? All right, guys. Look for your other videos on your spelling lesson and on your math lesson, and I'll talk to you later.